Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paw. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video, and today we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from September of 2018. Let's start off with books and magazines. I got the novelization of the ridiculous 1976 Walt Disney movie The Shaggy DA, a favorite of mine as a kid. And I added the 1968 paperback You're My Hero Charlie Brown to my Peanuts book collection. Plus, I got the songbook, The Best of Creedence Clearwater Revival. Now, I can keep on chuglin'. Do, 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 looking out my back door. Righteous. Let's move on to the category of miscellaneous. Got these three matchbooks to add to my collection. This matchbook from a bank in New Jersey is actually filled with Curad bandages. That is wild. I got erasers of french fries, a donut, and a strawberry cake, g-clefs, and people with little pointy arms, and a basset hound. I found a 1968 Hubert Humphrey presidential election pin, patches for world friendship and touchdown, and this fun glow-in-the-dark skull keychain. I'm a cop, you idiot! I'm Detective John Kimball. I got a smashed penny from the Carnegie Museum of Natural History, a 1996 Atlanta Olympics volleyball medallion that came out of a box of General Mills cereal, and this arcade token. It looks just like the ones that I used back in the early 80s. Speaking of those arcades, the machine shop at Village Square Mall was the one that I spent the most time at. And I found this 1981 newspaper ad announcing that Village Square would be opening the following year. The machine shop probably saw this same ad. I got these vintage 1990 Gibson Bird stickers and these divergent temporary tattoos. I found 12 super keen and vintage postcards from the Zoological Society of Philadelphia, one commemorating the Indy 500, and some used postcards, some from Italy and India. It says, wives are young men's mistresses, companions for middle age, and old men's nurses. Ooh, how kinky. Check out these photos of the Bon Jovi tribute band Slippery When Wet. Dude does look like John Bon Jovi. And I found an unused concert ticket for Styx at the Civic Arena, Saturday, July 16th, 1983. This show was canceled and rescheduled later that year. I got a pair of solar eclipse glasses from the eclipse on August 21st, 2017. I'll save them for the next eclipse. And I found this 1991 Toxic Crusaders Toxic Tip book. Never flush the toilet. Things get gross real fast. I got a few vintage look Halloween decorations to display this year. An old bag from V&S Variety Stores. And the front and back cover of an old late 60s 16 magazine. The back cover has this crazy Christmas ornament that you could fold together with Robert Vaughn, Paul McCartney, and help me out here, who's this again? When I was traveling for film festivals earlier this month, I stopped at a thrift store in New Jersey, and I found this. A sweet Pac-Man binder from 1980. The middle school me would have loved to have kept his homework in this. Alright, let's move on to my video scores. I found 26 more DVDs. I got a bunch of TV stuff. MASH, Season 6, Season 7, and Season 8. That 70s show, Season 1, the I Love Lucy 50th Anniversary Special, a couple of Dean Martin celebrity roasts, and I was real excited to find Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law, Volume 2. I hate him. I love him. I got the sci-fi movies Space Truckers, Battle Los Angeles, Knowing, and The Clone Wars. And I got Scary Movie, Dark Water, Speed Racer, St. Vincent, Critical Care, Mean Streets, The Replicant, Rocky II, A Criterion of the Organizer, and Ron Orman's The Second Coming. Sadly, the disc of the Grim Reaper was missing. And finally, I got some 80s classics. Trading Places, Fat Man and Little Boy, Bill Cosby himself, Once Upon a Time in America, and Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. Let's move on now from video to audio. New CDs this month are by Led Zeppelin, Fleetwood Mac, Pete Townsend, Eric Clapton, Pat Benatar, Cindy Lauper, two CDs by Aerosmith, Poison, The Dismemberment Plan, three CDs by The Foo Fighters, 
Reliant K, and this Wind Pigs Fly CD is a must-have for the covers of Ohio by Devo and Shock the Monkey by Don Ho. I also got cassettes by Parliament, Rick James, Cool in the Gang, The Time, Daz Band, Ready for the World, Cameo, The Gap Band, The Sugar Hill Gang, and this MC Hammer tape that was put out by Mattel. But I knew I'd never be able to bust my moves if I was high on drugs. And I'd never be able to write my songs if I didn't go to school and get an education. Plus two cassettes by Fugazi, Huey Lewis, Styx, Robert Plant, Pete Townsend, The Who, Rodney Dangerfield, and a two-tape live set by Ozzy Osbourne that came with a booklet and two temporary tattoos. Excellent! And I found this cassette from Cool Cigarettes that someone used back around 1987 to tape songs from the local pop station B94. Found three eight tracks, the first Boston album, Fragile by Yes, and the classic KTEL eight track Looney Tunes, a compilation of 24 great novelty songs. And I got some vinyl records. Got the theme from The Greatest American Hero, Another One Bites the Dust by Queen, You're 16 by Ringo Starr, and Whip It by Devo. This is the release backed with the song Turn Around, which was later covered by Nirvana. And I found this fun 1964 record featuring music and dialogue from the animated feature Hey There, It's Yogi Bear. You sent away to Kellogg's cereal for this, 25 cents and one box top. In the picture with me is my little bear type buddy, Boo Boo. I'm Yogi's best friend in the picture, and in real life also. And I got six LPs. I got Aerosmith, I got Badfinger, Ten Years After, The Lovin' Spoonful, Rare Earth, and Humble Pie. And that brings us to our last category, toys and games. I got some more trading cards. I got the entire set, all 88 cards of the first series of Desert Storm cards. I never had any of this series before and I filled in five of the gaps in my third series set. I got five Asian Digimon Adventure cards and five Pokemon Gaming cards, plus four Pokemon Trading cards, five Skylanders cards, a Real Skin Dinosaur card, a Chuggington card, and a Yokai Watch sticker and tattoos. Plus 21 Adventure Time cards, one Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle card, and 32 1991 Superstars music cards. These include Hammer, Huey Lewis, Patsy Kensett, Prince, Iron Maiden, the Pet Shop Boys, and Morrissey. I got a bunch of video games. For the PlayStation 2, I got TMNT, Batman Begins, Dark Cloud, Evil Dead, A Fistful of Boomstick, My Street, Resident Evil Outbreak, and Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter, Hack Infection, I Ninja, Brothers in Arms Road to Hill 30, Tomb Raider, The Angel of Darkness, Armored Core 2, Neo Contra, and Ninja Assault. For Xbox, I got Splinter Cell, and for Xbox 360, I got Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Dead Island, and Batman Arkham Asylum. I'm Batman. And for the Wii, I got High School Musical Sing It and a couple other Nintendo games, Multi-Racing Championship for N64, and Road Rash for Game Boy. Pretty cool, because I rarely find Game Boy games. I also found an MVP Minis Tanner emoji figurine, and a new and still in the package 1994 Duncan Neo Yo-Yo. Damn! And I got this excellent 1988 Will Vinton Wind-Up California Raisin, a small non-functioning speak and spell, a few other odds and ends, and four Fisher Price Little People. Is this Long Duck Dong? Automobile? <laughs> and now it's time for the find of the month. I splurged big time and paid $1.75 for this 1978 Parker Brothers Battlestar Galactica game. I love this beautiful game board, and I love how all the pieces have still never been punched out of the cardboard. This game was never played. My real reason for wanting this game was that I once had it. I had gotten it from my cousins for my 10th birthday back in 1980. From my cousins I got a Spider-Man web maker and a Battlestar Galactica game. 
and a card which I am not going to read. <laughs> I got everything that you saw in this video for about $17. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift haul from September of 2018. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. Hey there, it's Yogi Bear. I bet all my innumerable bubble friends will see it when it plays at their favorite movie theater. <laughs>